In today's episode, I'm going to attempt to teach inertia three absolutely ridiculous things. I'm Zach George. I train dogs. This is my new dog, and I'm gonna show you how I trained her from day one. Things definitely won't always go smoothly. You can start from the beginning, or you can pick up anywhere. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an episode. When you put into motion an approach based on love and respect, your results will forever remain in motion. This is Inertia. Welcome to the Dog Training Experience. We're at the park today, which should make my training a little bit more complicated. So I'm hoping that opening these boxes, which Inertia loves, will get her in a really good mood. BarkBox is a monthly subscription box where they send you amazing toys and great treats. Frenchies in Paris is our theme this month. So check this out, it's a baguette. Oh, it comes out, look at that. So crinkly, squeaky. Oh, okay, you're into the squeaky toy right now, that's fine. All of a sudden, she's gotten way more interested in me. We're off to a good start. Oh, I guess people eat frog legs in Paris, right? I get it. She's obviously interested in frog legs. The attention to detail in these toys is just great. We got some awesome treats here, lamb cuts and duck cuts. Pretty. So they work for training, that's good. This is a peanut butter chew. I like to give these to inertia towards the end of the day or when she's taking a break, so I'll save this for later. Now I know some of you have dogs that are a little bit tougher on toys, and for you, there's the super chewer box. The theme on this one is backyard barbecue. I mean, right off the bat, corn on the cob. This thing is heavy, it's like four pounds. And this is actually a really interactive toy. You can put peanut butter in there, maybe mix it with some kibble so it keeps your dog extra interested, but this is not possible to destroy. I mean, this just isn't, it's wreck of ribs. Super heavy, super durable here. I mean, that smells like actual ribs. For dogs that love to chew, toys with different textures like this are the best. In your super chew box, you're always gonna get two top-notch chews that your dog's gonna love. These are completely vegan treats right here. Those are good. Inertia agrees. Is your dog a BarkBox dog or a Super Chewer dog? I think Inertia is both. You can get a free Super Chewer box or a free BarkBox when you sign up for a six or 12 month subscription by going to BarkBox.com slash dog training or SuperChewer.com slash dog training. I'll have both of those links in the description below. Today I'm hoping to work on three brand new different things with Inertia with the ultimate goal of increasing her focus. Clearly here at Piedmont Park there are plenty of distractions all around, all the time, and our training doesn't really mean much unless our dogs will pay attention to us in distracting environments. I mean, even as I speak, you can see she's very focused on these dogs over here. I don't mind that she is looking at dogs and things like that, but there are times when I need her focus on me, and that's something that I hope we can uh, improve on today. Now you might find some of the things we're gonna cover today to be a little weird, but that's okay. Stick with me. So you might notice I have inertia right here between my legs and she's staying and this is good. So ultimately my goal here is going to be to teach her how to stay in this position as I walk, whatever direction I move in. So let me get her attention on me. Look at me. Excellent. Yes. She's doing great. Look at me. So now the moment of truth here. Will she actually stay in this position as I move forward? I'm gonna try to set her up for success here. So look at me. Let's go, come on. You might notice, yes, good, one step there. You might notice I'm real hunched over as well in order to have a small training bubble to make it easy. Here, come on. Yes, she got a little distracted by this bike going by over here, uh, but I was able to get her attention on me and maintain position. That's a winner, that's good. I'm gonna try to get her to pay attention to me without having a treat in my hand this time. Look at me. Let's go this way. So just every couple of steps there, I'm gonna give her a treat. Yes, good girl. The treat will come from over here this time. You know, if your dog can do a basic heel, they can probably do this. I mean, it's basically the same exercise, but instead of having them off to one side, you know, they're staying right here in this position. Let's practice this a little bit and see what we get here. Good. Look at me, come here, this way. So you can see there, she's really, I'm going real slow. Yes, and she's holding her position, I like that. Let me see if we can do a right turn. Look at me. Oh, that was good. I'm gonna come back to the left. You can see there, she's really adjusting well. Look at that. Inertia is kind of long like a school bus. So, you know, it can be a little awkward, but you're looking very graceful. And she's doing that around distracting scooters, something she finds very enticing. This way. Good girl, yes, you're doing so well with this. So we're able to take a step forward. Look at me, here. 
Good, we can go to the right. Good, to the left. And notice I'm not really trying to go long distances or do complete circle here. I'm just really focused on getting a step in the right direction to keep her optimistic. Yes. Come on, there's a complete circle though. I think I look ridiculous, but that's okay. As long as she looks cute, that's the only thing that matters. Inertia, let's go straight. Good, we're gonna turn around. Look at this. Come on, let's go. Come on. I have to walk a little funny because she's so tall now. This can be good to get your dog under control. It's also a flashy trick. And like any training, it's just a great way to build communication with your dog. So as I encourage Inertia to walk in this specific position, I'm encouraging her to stay focused on me more visually. So I'm not using words she doesn't understand yet. I'll wait to teach her the word for this until she really understands the concept. But you can see, I mean, I'm not even having to actually tell her to turn. She's just watching me and seeing where we're going. And look at that lovely rear end awareness. So right now I gotta go very slow to get her to stay with me. See if I go too fast, <laughs> she, gets, she gets lost and gets confused there. So, I mean, ideally I'd like to be able to walk like this all day long and have her stay in position. So let's work on that. Let's go, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Here, this way. Yes. You're doing so well. You are so smart. Yes. Since she's lagging behind, I'm encouraging her to kind of stay in front of me a little bit here by holding the treat way out here. Come on, let's go. Yes. Good, come on. Good. So obviously I don't wanna to have to have the hand out here all the time, but we'll work on that for now to make it easier for her. Come on, let's go. Yeah, good, this way. Come on, let's go. <laughs> good, that was better, yes. Okay, so that's interesting, isn't it? I'm gonna try and pull her out off to my side now. There we go, that was a nice little move. Switch, good, stay through. Look at me. Turn. Turn. Oh, I wonder if she can go backwards. Back up. Stay. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. So this is obviously a skill that's going to take some practice, but you know, this is the beginning version of that and we'll see if she improves over time on it. Another minor skill that I've been wanting to teach inertia is how to rest her head down. This is totally adorable. It's kind of like a movie trick. You know, it's one of those things that you can add to a lot of existing tricks that make it extra cute. For example, let's see, lie down. Good job. So lie down, nice normal trick, but let's see if I can lure her right here. Stay. Yes, she's getting really good with that stay, that freeze, if you will. Okay, stay. Yes. Wait. Okay, yes, good work. So as before, I'm not really focused on getting her to understand the term, put your head down. I'm more focused on just getting her to voluntarily yes. go into the position that I'm asking for. So you can see she's really, really taking to this super quick. This is wonderful. Ah, I pushed her too far that time. I haven't worked on this before, but this is an example of when your communication starts to become more fluent with one another. You can really breeze through new skills like this. Stay. Okay, saying okay to let her know that it's over. Yes. So she's getting the point here, but I'm still having to lure her. So my next step really is to see if I can encourage her to keep her head down without the lure. So let's see what we can do here. Stay. Okay, yes. And I'll give her the treat from over here this time. See that? No treat that time. See that? Okay, yes. That's what the first version of this trick is looking like, and we'll try and refine that and make it look better over time, but pretty good. I think she's doing an all right job. So let's see if we can teach her a third trick today. Peanut butter cookie treats should work fine. I'm going to attempt to teach Inertia how to balance this treat on her snout, on her nose, and see how she does. This is one of those that can take time and discipline and restraint from your dog, but once you get there, it can be pretty awesome. So I first wanna start, yes by touching her nose with it. Like I wanna get her comfortable with the fact that there's gonna be a treat over here touching her. Yes. 
good girl. If you like hold your dog's face and you put the treat on their nose, they're like, they're more likely to resist and be like, what are you doing? So I want, I really want her voluntarily doing this. Yes, so far she's like, okay. Yes, very good. Let me see if I can encourage her to hold an extra strong stay here. Stay. Oh, she looked away there. Stay. Yes, it was the most subtle pull away and I really want to avoid that. I want her enthusiastically accepting the treat being placed on her nose. See that, see how she pulled away? Stay. Yes, that was really good. Notice how I'm not pushing her and pushing her there. I got a half a second of her letting the treat stay on her nose. Stay. Yes, that was great. And so I'm taking the treat off her nose. Stay. With a lot of dogs, they'll tend to drop their nose down and the treat will fall off. That's why we really want to prioritize short duration. Yes, good. Wow. That was, that was really awesome right there. Oh, really good. Stay. Okay, good. I think at some point I can probably trick her into flipping the treat off of her snout there and catching it in the air. That would be awesome. It's still new to her, so stay. Okay, good. But she's really getting this concept of holding still and keeping her nose up, stay. Oh, she did it! That was what I want! Yes! Good! I mean, it was a complete accident. She got distracted over here by the commotion going on. When you're training a dog, accidents like that happen all of the time, because I had no idea how I was going to get her to snatch the treat. A trick like this is just brilliant for Stay. teaching your dog that extra discipline. It actually increases their focus. If yes. you do this, you're going to find that their obedience training goes so much easier. Okay. Or if you ever wanted to make your sponsor extra happy, you could do this. Yes, good job. <laughs> Get your free Super Chewer box, Spark box, or both when you sign up for a six or 12 month plan at my special links in the description. Subscribe to my channel and follow us on Instagram and TikTok to see me and Inertia do some more ridiculous things every day. If you're working on training your dog, check out both of my books for all of my most in-depth training advice in one place. In the next episode, I'm going to continue working on teaching Inertia how to not bark at everything that moves. Part two, it's gonna be a good one.